Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It's the Earth Master back here on this Wednesday, April 26, 2023. It is about 12.44 p.m. here along the West Coast in the uh, state of California. Latest earthquake activity shows a 2.1 here on the big island of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and check out what's going on out here in the beautiful big blue Pacific around the big island. Showing a little bit of swarming activity here this morning around Kilauea Volcano. Also some activity up around the Mauna Loa area around the northeastern flank. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we have. If there's any update from the GeoNets or the um, USGS hazard notification system. There we go. Uh, from the HVO. Kilauea daily update has been put out. Uh, looks like it's currently not erupting. Just an ongoing earthquake swarm. No significant changes have been observed at the summit or along either of the volcano's rift zones. Uh, looks like there was slight inflationary tilt, meaning swelling uh, over the past day. And of course, small flurries of earthquakes have occurred, uh, well, for a little while, since about, uh, well, for a couple weeks, I would say now they've had a little earthquake swarm here and there. So just continue to watch it, uh, continue to monitor this activity. Uh, it is down there where we would see some magma movement. Uh, looks like seven... 7.8 kilometers was the uh, deepest one here. Aside from that, looks like they're down there uh, about one to two kilometers below the surface. So continue to watch that activity on the big island. Down here in New Zealand, USGS not really shown too much. Uh, just those two earthquakes from yesterday. Uh, the EMSC model here. Um, well, I think we're going to go to the GeoNet servers here real quick and see uh, what's being reported for the uh, New Zealand area. There's the earthquake from yesterday. Uh, still holding steady at a 5.9. Here's the week and above felt reports over the uh, New Zealand area over the last few hours. Looks like mostly twos and uh, quite a few twos here. Uh, let's see what we got for the uh, earthquake drums. See if this uh, has been picking up or not. There's last night's events there across the uh, New Zealand area, North Island, New Zealand. Uh, USGS only showing it as a 5.4. Um, they didn't uh, they didn't raise it up any, so a little bit of the magnitude differences between the GeoNet, uh, which is reporting this as a 5.9, and USGS reporting it as a 5.4, and then a smaller quake afterwards uh, as a 5.2. So. A little bit of difference there, but hey, we'll just go with both of them for now. But far as earthquake activity goes, goes over the past few hours, it looks like things have mellowed out uh, very drastically. There's not so much activity as what we were seeing last night following uh, that earthquake activity. So let's see, where's, where has uh, the earthquake activity been at today? Looks a lot quieter as far as uh, global movement goes as well. Uh, bring up the uh, Earthquake 3D globe here and see what we have. Looks like a trail, a train of earthquakes here across the Java Trench. Appears to be where most of the momentum is currently taking place. Stretching across this plate boundary. You can see it clear as day, right? There's that momentum stretching up uh, into the Sumatra area. Quite a few threes, uh, including the 4.6 up here. We're still kind of watching this area for some larger scale movement, even though it's been very active. Uh, we did see that uh, seven pointer over there, right? Seven days, 4.5. We did see that seven-pointer here off the coast of Sumatra a couple days ago, but uh, I still think we're getting... Uh, we, we need to see a little bit further activity within this region that we're seeing that swarm today. I think uh, definitely called for uh, just due to all the momentum and movement here over the past uh, couple weeks. Curl Kamachaka Trench showing a little bit of activity here near the Curl Islands of 5.0, 73.6 kilometers below the surface and it looks like there is uh, 3.5 a little bit further south into the Japan area now looks like there may have also been a 4.8 in there uh, USGS not showing this earthquake that struck uh, about an hour or so ago a little bit further up north from the Kuril Islands but still within the Kuril Kamchaka Trench at uh, 100 kilometers deep so activity appears to be ramping up here on this region as well and that's uh that's i would say that's more overdue than the area around the java trench here as far as larger scale movement goes all right the alaska area 
Uh, very minimal movement. We're not seeing a whole lot of uptick today across this area of the Aleutian Trench up into the uh, Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Got Yellowstone up here showing a little bit more, a little bit more earthquake activity here this morning. So let's go check it out here. Yellowstone, stand by for a second. And not super active, but I see those quakes that they're uh, kind of mentioning about. I believe it's going to be this little blurp of five or six earthquakes or so within a short amount of time, centered around um, looks like the Mary Lake area. And USGS did report uh, some of the earthquake activity here a little bit further north. Uh, looks like eight earthquakes being reported. Uh, they may be missing a few, though. But uh, either way, it doesn't look like there's any major swarming going on now um, across the area of Yellowstone. All right, further down south here into the state of California, noticing some movement here off of the Calaveras Fault Zone just south of the bay along the creeping segment of the San Andreas Fault. Also one earthquake here off the San Andreas Fault in the north, 25 kilometers deep here um, just off the coast. Ridgecrest area looks like uh, most of this movement here from yesterday, a couple earlier this morning, but uh, either way, just a little small microquake swarm in that area. Down into the southern part of the state, we're getting a little separate swarm down here at the very end of the San Andreas Fault, the southern segment. This is actually um, a different fault zone called the Brawley Seismic Zone and pretty much an extensional fault here that runs due south. Um, a little bit of swarming here. Looks like around one, uh, one or two o'clock in the morning, they had a little series of small earthquakes up to magnitude two. So um, a lot of times we will see some swarming up here, or I should say down here into the uh, southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. If it gets really close here, then that's when it's a little bit more concerning because uh, it's pretty much within that triggering zone, uh, so to speak. And a, a lot of geologists, seismologists and whatnot agree that uh, you know all it would take is maybe a little bump uh, of this southern branch here and it could send off the big one 8.1 magnitude earthquake could be possible uh, along the southern branch here uh, it's been building up for quite a while all right uh, what do we got here texas area looks like a little bit more active here today across areas of uh well north northwest here pecos texas and of course this area is a uh, a hot spot of oil pumping operations and i guess a solar farm over here uh, but there's a lot of wastewater disposal facilities here. Those little shiny square uh, regions there. Some type of wastewater ponds. All right, backing out of here. Nothing going on across the eastern portion of the country. Uh, looks like, uh, let me check for the Caribbean plate. Just going to make this a quick update here, folks. Caribbean plate looks fairly quiet here. Also, the Middle America Trench not showing too much activity. South America, slight uptick here along the Peru-Chile Trench with a, a handful of different earthquakes at variable dep depths there. Between uh, three and four, it looks like, of the magnitude. Uh, but yeah, I would definitely uh, keep a couple eye, a couple eyes, <laughs> keep your eyes open on some certain regions out here today. Uh, Java Trench showing some major elevated activity, uh, but also up here along the Kuril Kamachaka Trench couple different regions here to watch today not a whole lot going on across the Mediterranean we do have a 2.1 coming in to the red flag area right now looks like around Turkey uh, but overall twos and threes are the magnitudes across that region today um, let's see what else we have across the area let's check out space weather here real quick pretty busy day it's supposed to be 93 degrees today so I'm setting up the pole getting that all set up so we can uh, be a little bit cool today gonna get hot and then hotter tomorrow close to 100 uh let's see here check out this uh sunspot region got a little bit better visual of this area today northeastern limb looks pretty massive but um not super complex up here with the uh, magnetic structure that it harbors and holds but hopefully we'll uh uh get a little better advancement of the growth of the sunspot as it uh comes across the visible disk and faces earth here in the coming days and what is facing earth right now is uh, fairly minimal uh, across the area these look relatively stable amongst that sunspot region uh, overall threat right now is probably fairly low 50 percent chance for a sea flare 
M flare at 10% chance, X flare around 1. And uh, maybe around the 28th here of uh, April, could be getting a little enhancement here to the uh, geomagnetic forecast, which would mean elevated auroras at the higher latitudes. Nothing like what we've seen here a couple nights ago with the aurora stretching down into California, for example. It was pretty crazy. Um, yeah. All right, folks. Uh, also, severe weather threat today is um, enhanced around the Dallas-Fort Worth area, it looks like. There is a tornado risk today, 10% elevated chance. That include areas around Waco, Temple, uh, Copper's Cove, it looks like. Uh, Dallas Fort Worth looks like they are just within the 2% category here just outside of that zone it has shifted south a little bit but uh, if you're in this area there's an elevated 10% chance for tornadoes today uh, wind and hail a pretty big threat as well within those regions of Texas so also Florida getting in on in on the action as well out uh, in the Jacksonville Florida area looks like they're uh, under some hail potential all right, folks, stay safe out there. Be good. We'll catch you guys back here uh, sometime tonight. Like I say, I'm out there getting the pole all set up and ready. And, uh, yeah, it should be nice. I'm hoping. I'm ready to jump in. Have a good one, folks. We'll catch you guys a little bit later tonight. Take care.